Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is the enemy of mine, a tower defense roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here. Today is part of the Steam Next Fest. So let's pop on in and see what the game is all about here. In we go. Hi, that. I'm Coralie, and I'll observe you during this testing phase. It consists in the simulation of an attack by an external virus. We do this simulation each year to update and train defense systems. During this period, I'll record and evaluate your choices and behavior. Since you're a new unit and you only recently passed the first quality test, let me explain how it works. Press the middle mouse button to move the camera. Scroll wheel to zoom. F to reset. This is the core. Click it. Check your available coins. Each unit and its upgrades have a cost. Select this turret and place it on a platform. Turrets can only be placed on platforms. Right mouse to exit placing mode. Turrets can be upgraded by clicking the turret. And then upgrading range damage speed. I mean, sure, we'll go for some damage. Some units can be placed on the ground. Select the wall and place it on the ground. Middle mouse to rotate it. A little bit of a wall. Your objective is to defend the core with the help of your units and prevent it from reaching 0% health. Your units can be attacked, so remember to check their status. Each unit can be repaired from the upgrade menu. Waves of bolts will try and destroy it. Check your progress with the wave bar above. You have a limited amount of time, so to prepare your defenses, it's indicated by this timer in the bottom right. The timer can be disabled or changed in the settings. Place your units and click start to begin the game and destroy all bots. Boop. Some enemies are more powerful and have shields. We got a landmine. Explodes when enemies get close to it. I mean, sure, we'll pop it down right there. Turret that fires automatically. How much money do we have? We can... Okay, hold on. So we can only place a couple of them. Gotcha. Do we need to do this? I mean, maybe, maybe not. It's not letting me... Oh, it is letting me put down another one. It just doesn't have the visual. Boop. Sure. We'll just ruin that a little bit. There we go. What's that? Did we, we can shoot an active? Some turrets can apply a status to enemies like fire, poison, or electricity. Like the crossbow. Fires an acid arrow that can penetrate multiple enemies. The acid applies damage over time. Ignores shields. You know... Piercing. I mean, sure, we'll just drop that right like there. Why not? Okay. In some situations, you'll have to use abilities. Uh, this is bad news. I may have done that already. Okay, good. <laughs> <clears throat> they didn't say it was this situation. They said in some situations. Awesome. I think you're all set. Ready to kickstart the simulation? Yes, sir. Select your abilities. Remember, each level will have a number of ability slots with a maximum of five. Ooh. Pulse from the core that throws nearby enemies away. Explosive rockets from above. Core gains the ability to shoot at enemies. Make more money when destroying enemies. Repair all turrets. Send enemies that enter the wormhole back to the beginning. Well, let's just get more money. Let's greed. Okay. So we're we're right into it. I will say that on Steam it says it is a tower defense game with roguelike elements. So we'll have to see exactly what that means. A game can claim that and it can mean any number of things. Alright, so we got... Uh, does it show... Okay, it does show the path. I think that we will logically want to pop this down here. Cause a little bit of problems on purpose there. We could delay it out. Do we? So are we going to get more of these? I guess that is a question. So if we block this off, they can go... Boop, 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 boop. I would like to make them run... So they're going to run here... Could block oh god how do we how do we do this well there there is a silly way we could do this i'm sure but if we put this here we can force them to run all the way like that 
And here we can force him to run like that. Good. And then theoretically, we could even drop a couple like this. So that is a pretty good pathing already. That did... Okay, so we can... Why does it cover up... The text box covers up the price. That is so crazy. Because it says the price right up there, and it's... So it's 100 and 150 nullifier. Uh, shockwaves in an area that damage all enemies. Certainly doesn't sound bad. We can't build there. Part of me just wants to build a couple turrets. But I feel like starting off with the AoE is not bad. And then maybe popping the turret here. 30 for a landmine. I mean, it seems like it'll be a... Oh, the quicker you go, the more money you get. Gotcha. Okay, so you really... You really get to start smacking it. That is... Brutal. So the time goes down the longer we take. Flamethrower, set enemies on fire. This does not... It is free. Okay. God, I wish it was a little bit more clear there. Okay. We'll put another wall there, which will mean that that is a fine place to put that. Solid, solid. Start it. Get some money at the very least. It's interesting, because then, since this is also on a timer, that that makes that a really, really interesting proposition. Oh, it's after a period of time, huh? Okay. I assumed it was pop it, and then it immediately heals up. I don't know how I feel about them uh, targeting our guys like that. Get a little bit of a range up, I suppose. A little bit of a damage up fire rate up because now it can protect this increase damaging speed we're going to want to range up on this as well sounds good because i mean if it's the quicker we go the better then um let's go ahead and go quicker so these have shields we don't have this does minus 20 shield damage interestingly enough wouldn't mind getting a range up on this Stop it. Okay. Okay, so now that our target's back up there, we get a damage up, damage up. Repair all for 29. Gotcha. So we can't really... I mean, okay. I could technically put some more walls down. It's not going to benefit me that much. You going backwards? Crazyman? Okay, so that's all we needed to do for that one. Not bad. One unit lost. Still was enough to get whatever a five star will be. This has got so much visual juice on it. It's crazy. So this, I wish this said that it was just, it looked like it was a passive. It looks like it's an, you know, it's an active. It'll last for a little bit. Repair all turrets. Enemies on fire. Rocks from above. You know, I, I like the idea of having the repair all as well. Select the explosive barrels when a turret is in range to detonate them. They can be detonated by explosives. Enemies in range will be damaged. Oh my. There's a hell of a lot here. So we could have them run like this at the very least. Interesting call. We could just pop down something. I'm glad we have a, a plenty of time here. Mini core acts as a decoy core that it distracts. And that's pretty cool. Nullifier damages all enemies. Flamethrower glue projectiles slow down enemies for a short time. Bonus shield damage, minus health damage. Gotcha. I do kind of like the idea of popping down this. Increasing the range a little bit so it has that full range. And then we'll pop this to explode the enemies in this first kind of whatever wave. Whatever feels right. And then the question is, what else do we want to go... So we are on a timer. We're on a timer the second we put down our first item. 
I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. Just for the sake of uh, ease, let's go ahead and bump these bad boys up then. Okay, so we're going to be making more money from enemies here for a bit. I don't know. What the, I don't think we're going to need to pop this. We'll save that for when I feel bad. Uh, interesting. Okay, so now it's... Oh, boy. That's pretty cool. The path is... It's still running by this. So it could be fine, but... God, I wish I could... I wish I had time to think about this. It's not really a time to think thing. I mean, I guess... Because they're like, boom, we don't get any extra scrap there, just like that. There's a second core down there. They're going for these for now. Gonna get ready. Go ahead and just pop them. Set enemies on fire. I mean, I guess I'll just pop down a little bit of something here. As late as it may be. Because then we can put down a landmine back here if we really, really need to. But I think we'll be alright. Okay, we'll see. The landmine looks like it'd be really good for this situation. Okay, so that counted. Alright. Cool. We'll run the same situation. Because now we really are going to have to uh, go for this. Holy crap. It's not even a very good one. So we have the explosive barrel once again. Let's start and we'll get, I guess, the 20 free scrap for what it's worth. I don't think anybody's hurting. Okay, that helps. It certainly helps. Any shield damage situation? Not necessarily. We'll go for a little bit of fire. Kind of more of an AoE. Oh! Son of a gun went to the other one, you jerk. Genius jerk. Brutal. Okay. Solved. Now we're going to go back towards somewhere where we actually do have a little bit of units. Pathing has shifted once more. If I put this down, I mean... Ah, okay. Gotcha. So we'll, we can at least blow this up. I kind of want to move them down here. I, I'm, I'm okay enough with this. We have the explosive. Should we need it? Okay. Hate that. You sons of guns. Get some more money. Oh my god. They didn't care about the explosive barrel, really? I don't think I need anything down here. We're, we're a little bit more protected on this side. I think that we are A-OK. -okay. Flamethrower is absolutely killing it. I think that you got this by yourself, right? I'll put this down just in case. Yeah. Okay, screw you. Back down here. This is the ideal. This is the one we actually really, really like. Look at the range up, so that's perfect for that. You are hurting. I guess I'll repair. Repair all for 51. Jiminy. Okay, nullifier. Damages all enemies in an area. Oh, my lord. Let's get some shield damage juice going on. Increased damage from the electric arcs fired from enemies to enemies. It's kind of like an, the AoE angle of it. Sure. A little bit of range up. I'm not too worried about this angle. Having them first works really well. We're completely fine on this side over here. This side is not a problem in the slightest. Alright, yep. This, the middle sucks for us. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. 
Another range up helps, I guess. I just... There is no time to think. Get a little bit of piercing. Let me look at the freaking... It keeps on hiding the laser beam. And by that, I mean the path. Like, it just goes away really frequently. All right. Got, hopefully, the shield's going away as well. Good. Love it. Solved. Some big lads. Okay. That is a much shorter cooldown than you would think. Okay. We're fine, we're alive. Man, they they do not give you a lot of time to uh to process. Yeah, that that feels about right. I wouldn't have been surprised with a 3 star either. They don't give you a lot of time to process and then and then it moves everything. It's crazy. Okay. So the second we start putting stuff down, I think that's the thing is we want the plan in this level, some turret platforms will sink after the end of the wave. Platforms that sink will have water splashing around them. Are you kidding me? Penetrate multiple enemies. This is 400. I kind of like the idea of that, that start... I mean, I don't really need to worry about anything else here. This feels like a waste, maybe, but it could hopefully get our beginning going nice and clean. Don't you dare. I'm trying to... It won't let me put that in the... <laughs> it wouldn't let me put that in the mine. So this is going underwater. If I remove it, does it gain money back? It does. Okay. The whole thing is moving. You are evil. This... Oh, my God. They're like, quick... Make your whole build again. All right, we got the laser. I mean, that with a little bit of range up sounds good. We'll put another landmine down. Start, go. We have the Death Stars, should we need them. Is that an actual explosive barrel, I wonder? I mean, I can't get it in this range. So it doesn't matter too much. Okay, we're rising. I can't deny this is very cool. All right, they're going to go for this way. We're going to want to blockade that for sure. Because this is definitely going to be a little bit better for us, but then it's going to go away and we're going to be like absolutely out of luck. Minus shield damage, mini core, destroy core. We can stack them, apparently. I think maybe we just go for a little bit more damage here. All right, four seconds until we get to use this ability again. I think I'm going to want to. These jerks can go backwards. Those jerks can go backwards. They can just climb over my walls. You son of a gun. Literally, like, everything is going away now? Are you... Okay. Quick, make your whole new board. Um, okay. Oh, this is such a bad layout, too, now. Um... Give me a little bit of a, I guess, a slow to go with the turrets and a laser. Damage speed, damage speed. If you can move this way too, then we are absolutely screwed. Okay, got another landmine down. Please actually place it. Okay. That's what we just have to do, man. The landmines seem like uh, the best call here. It's almost across the board. Okay. 
Okay, well that counted. Okay, so they're still coming. So they actually could walk this way, which is crazy, which means this is the only place I could have built turrets. Was that randomized? I think that could have been the only place I would build turrets. Oh my god. This is evil. Okay, hold on. Move that here. Okay. You know, I'm just going to go for that at this point. I think we need to build, get a little bit of range damage, speed damage. Get the laser once again. Upgrade that. Landmines up here for when they inevitably do make it through. Get a little bit of flamethrower action. Okay. Jeez. Repair all. Sure. Okay, we got 30 seconds. Thankfully, okay, so nobody's going, none of these are going away. That really helps. Absurd. Okay, foam gun, we can do that to have a little bit of slowdown action. Works for me, I think. I just kind of want range up on that. Start. <laughs> we had time left. Hopefully a little bit more money will help us here. Would you not? Okay, so it can still attack while it's getting attacked. Good. Or while it's getting repaired. Okay, we're being targeted from both sides now. I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up being uh, the final deal. Okay, so we're going to basically just do the same thing, but on the other side. Oh boy. Except we can't get nearly the same amount of money invested in it. Hopefully since it's split up, the game will be kind to me here. That man just went through the wall. He just said, I don't care. Alright. The fact that I made it through that is bonkers. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit more damage, a little bit more speed on the turret, a little bit more damage electrostatic on that. Where do we need the uh, the landmines at this point? I don't know if it really matters. It will matter, but like... I don't know if it matters that I put it down right now. We have the big blast. Is this the final? Get off him. Get off him. Okay. Good. We moved up and we did at least... We at least get to keep everything going again. We got the electrostatic. Wait, what happened? They're, why are they... Why are they going to kill this? Am I crazy? Why can't they... Um, why have they decided that they're going to be killing that now? What? Why, why are they not going up this way? Video game! Video game, why? I mean, I'll take your word for it and I'll protect it. Okay, we get put down that a little bit of that. Why are you... It says they're breaking that wall, but, like, there's no even... No real reason for them to. Alright, we did it. Jesus, man. This is hectic as hell. Yeah! Okay, we take it. Thank you for the, trying the alpha version. This is absurd. Our journey together ends here, but only for now. You have finished the demo content for the session. If you haven't done so, you can try other modes. All right. Let's check out the other mode. What is Core Crawler? Random map or seed type. Pick a class. The section is still in development, and it may not work properly. Good to know. Crossbow turret. Foam gun turret. Laser, foam gun, bases, pulse. I mean, I'm going to do this one just because it's the most different from what I just did. Hi again. Uh, here, Coralie. Let me explain what Core Crawler is. 
It's an AI training mode specifically devoted to enhance your understanding of software attacks in order to integrate defense mechanisms more effectively. Use a procedurally generated map to simulate various environments. Choose your hexagon wisely because it's going to determine your path. Picking certain tiles might close off the other options. So think, think strategically and have some fun crawling while through the digital maze. Gotcha. So this is probably this is probably our um, roguelike mode. So we'll move here. Uh. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have the timer. So small. Oh, we can't. Uh, we have to upgrade to gotcha. Be a little silly with it. Okay, well, I can't block it off completely, obviously. Which means this is a little bit. This is a little bit bad. Can I. S I can sell. It's, it's laid out in a way where I'm not going to be able to do too much to stop them, anywho. Bases are free. We can put down another one of these, I guess. I feel like the lasers are going to be our damage dealers. Start, we'll see what's up. I mean, we'll just use that big blast. Thank you, you greedy ding dong. Okay, so that's just the first fight. That's, that is wild, though. You can select just one reward. Walls, laser, flamethrower, bases, damage. Damage up for the laser or the glue gun. I can't tell which one that is. There's definitely some quality of life that needs to be fixed up here. That will be. I'll grab the flamethrower, the wall, and the damage. I'm going to check out the unit reward because I'm curious. Open all the boxes and choose your reward. Hello? Mini core, flamethrower. This is very Overwatch. <laughs> The way that this is laid out. Another flamethrower means we can put down one more. So, I mean, I'll do it. Boss waves. I think we do want to do enemy waves. It looks like it gave us good stuff. This is fun, though. More bases, lasers, walls. I guess I'll grab some more lasers. But we don't have something that's really good against uh, health damage yet. What is that? Probably core repair. It's not on the map legend. We'll go that way. All right, you really just... Okay, so it... Ex... Weird! It expands out like that. Gotcha. So we actually kind of get to keep the same stuff. Huh... When we remove, this is for science, we get 400 back for... Okay, so we can completely remove everything and get all of our money back, too. That's actually really neat. All right, let's process. I think the walls are more logical. Okay. So we can force them all to go in here. Don't have any more walls. Pop down a base. I can make them do... Show me the path, please. Show me, show, show me, the, show me the path, man. Okay. Uh, I would love to make these guys go pretty far around too. This is this is very jank this way of doing it. But I think it'll be okay. Show me the line please. It's so weird how it hides the line. There we go. There we go. So ah, 
the way I have it, they're, like, I'm going to be getting all of the units right here at the same time, which is not that good. Laser does have, like, the nice bounce angle going on, at least, so that does help. But we can't have all of them coming in from, you know, it... it we're in a rough spot, no matter what. I could do this and force them to go all the way around. That would probably help the most here. We got the nice lasers. Foam gun is going to slow them down. Maybe we could pop the flamethrower a little bit. If we give something a huge amount of range up, that'd be good, but we don't have necessarily a guarantee that we can do that yet. The laser gun. Flamethrower. We got the ability to upgrade something, but I guess it's not these. Unless they are upgraded initially for free. Unfortunately, we don't have, like, a range upgrade to really do too much with this. I think we just pop down a bunch of stuff. Even though it's going to be in suboptimal areas, I think that's just the way. Okay. It's not great, but hey. I'm just going to give it a go. Could even just, like, do that at the beginning. Powerful pulse. Throws enemies from the core. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. It's wild. Yep. 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 Wop, wop, wop. Gotcha. Understood. They're going to attack, and then they just say, never mind, I don't really care. So never mind, I'm going to go and leave. Thank you. Why are you going this way? This is so wild. <laughs> what is happening? There, there's certainly a lot that I think needs a little bit of help. Okay, we need just standard turrets. Get an electrostatic upgrade for that. That sounds good, too. I mean... Dude, we're... We're in hell. Like, this is not going to be good. Boss waves are no walk in the park, but they come bearing a shiny chipset reward. I'm going to pause and redo this here. All right, okay. I mean, this is the best I can do for now. Unfortunately, the annoying thing is, like, when you put down the stuff in a way that blocks off enemies that are coming from here, they go, all right, fine, then I'll spawn over here instead. And then now, this is the best I can do. It has, it's a pretty decent, can, show the maze, please. Show, <laughs> show the maze, please. What is this? There it is. It's a pretty decent maze for, uh, for these guys and it's fine for these guys but it's like really really solid for all the enemies that were coming from up there but these two are gonna screw me over but i just don't have enough walls to to really do what i need to do for this it's gonna be pain it is going to be pain i don't know if i get to choose what that really helps with not necessarily it looks like push back enemies from there I mean, this is brutal. Repair all. Repair all. Repair all. Please, no. Repair all. Keep on repairing all. Repair all again. Hey, there we go. We, we got it to work. It was, it was much better when I didn't have the time pressure of people watching. <laughs> Crossbow, we got the... Uh, speed up for that? I think that they get that automatically. Turret. One turret, three bases, and damage up on turrets is good, too. I'm gonna go with three turrets, two walls. Bouncing shot. Turret projectiles can bounce, pierce enemies. Random damage type. I'm gonna go with projectiles can bounce. Chip sets are cool abilities tied to each turret with six slots per turret. Upgrade them for maximum power. I mean, that is... Very cool. Going to go ahead and give a little bit of a uh, heal, theoretically. Repair the core. Up to, what, 100? Hopefully. I think it just did, like, 10%. <laughs> 
All right, now hopefully we can handle a normal, just like a normal old wave now. So if I were to block this off, then they have to go up and around through like everybody else. But is that going to be helpful? Only when I can block this off too. I need to make sure my like prime slots are going to be like these lasers now that they have the... Well, the turrets now that they have the bounce. I was going to say... It's really, you know, it's tough. It's tough. Where do I where do I even put anything at this point? Maybe they'll be able to bounce up where we want them. I can't remove these bases. Those are being used as blockers. I could actually um I guess I could remove these. Put these as blockers over here instead. And then put down bases. We can actually get a little bit more going on. Sure. Should be fine. Okay. You ready to push from push him from? Oh my god, look at the bounces. Wait. This is getting silly now. Did they attack my base from the side? They better not have attacked my base from the side. Yeah, holy crap. We just power spiked, baby. Jeez. Laser, laser damage. Burning. Sticky bomber. I mean, I kind of want the one that, one of the ones that comes with the most walls. I'm going to go for that. It gives us an increase to damage as well. Sounds good. I thought I just did... Well, whatever. Okay, so now they have to go up and run themselves through the full kit and the full caboodle. That does help. Which makes... Wait. That's so annoying. Now these guys are going to go through... Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Never mind. Okay, so they're running through up there. That does... It helps a, it helps a bit. I have another wall. I guess I could do this. Find myself some time. Is there another... Um, another blocker that I put down that I could replace with a wall? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. So we got the lasers, but not really a great place to pop them. This intersects with two, but not for very long. But honestly, it's like kind of... Uh, what else do we really have to do with that one at this point? We don't have more bases to uh, to put the turrets on. Give it a go. Zoop. So we have this down here to toggle. Why is it not on all the time? We, okay, wait. It's it's just it's just bugged in some way. All right. Flamethrower. We got some walls. Three walls. Two nullifiers. Two bases. And a damage up on our lasers. Some more bases sounds good. Theoretically, this is just a nothing. But we might as well get stronger. Like, why would we not want to just get stronger? can be done better. Nullifier. What, what does this do again? It doesn't say here. It's the AoE damage. Gotcha. That's right. I mean, that's fine. It's a fine spot for that. Foam gun. We got the turret. 
God, I would love a turret upgrade. Put on laser. Put this here earlier on. Works better. Really doesn't seem like that big of a thing at this point. Repair all. Jerks. Stop it. I feel like I've scaled stupid. All right. <laughs> Range up on the laser. Mini cores, range up on the laser, two walls. I mean, I kind of want more bases. Do I care about the mini core? Not necessarily. This is a, it's really neat when it gets a uh, triple shot. Triples the projectiles fired? What? Triple bouncing? Okay, we going, we going crazy. I'm going to the boss wave now that we are wild and go ahead and ditch that one up down this maybe even like can obviously get that turret mini core so if I put this down what does it do is it just basically a landmine I don't know why I wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been able to put it there. Oh, I can now. Bizarro. Up down that. We can get another turret. Actually, I wouldn't even mind. Um, it's it's done. It's not intersecting with a ton, but it's it's not that bad. Okay. Inspector. <laughs> Where's that? Why do they have? <laughs> this is the craziest thing to me. Is there at least? Can they please tell me there's something in the setting? Uh, timer linked. Uh, uh, no brightness. There's a lot of settings. There's a lot of settings, but none of them for um, for that. There we go. There we go. We got it. Trying to think if there's anywhere that I can pop. I don't really want to lengthen this because then these guys, we have such limited range on those anyways. These are, okay, these are manual bases that I put down. I could readjust this somehow. I feel like I don't need to. I think I'm fine. I think I ruined stuff by uh, adjusting more. That detonate does so little in the, the long run at this point. That man, I think, just went over my wall. Yeah, here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we, we power spiked for sure. Crossbow walls. I kind of just want to keep on increasing, increase the speed on that. Stuff for my little, uh, my turret. Random effects on the laser, or is this the laser? Which one's the laser? I think that's the laser, that's the flamethrower. I think we have more lasers. Cool, moving on up. Got another base, I mean, I'll pop down another one of those. Turret. You know, I think it would be fine if we just do that. I think we'll be okay. Everything is just so crazy at this point. Start it. Fast forward it. That's way more exciting on the normal mode. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think 
it is it's weird the scaling the difficulty scaling of this is so strange it was bonkers tough for what you have into you you know what you need you just need to start with more walls like you need to start with a couple walls or the starting layout needs to be a little bit more generous and then it's fine that's just straight up that's it oh range up on the standard turret sounds lovely ability rewards sure i'm just we haven't seen what this is this looks like yet i know what it is core gains the ability to shoot at enemies i mean i'll get the wormhole we'll send them back out burn three abilities to gain a new slot I don't think that that really helps us that much at this point. It's so temporary. It's just like a little bit of a beep. Okay. Probably do with this. What's the radius on this now? Yeah, it, it sucks, but we really don't... We're running out of space. And we're also running out of frames. The game is getting <laughs> framier. I think I'm good with that. I don't really need to use the other wall. Oh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> the frames are getting out of control, man! Prepare! I mean, these things are th shooting three bullets that all ricochet at this point. I get it, but also, wow. <laughs> Give me some attack speed up on the uh, the turrets as well. Lifesteal exploding shot. All right, let's break everything. We're going to destroy this. Oh, you son of a gun. All right. Graphics and audio is all going to go under significant changes. Hey, I mean, I got to say, like, as far as, like, do they understand what would be satisfying in a roguelike mode for a tower defense game? I'm going to say yes. They seem to understand it for sure. It seems like you can get broken. You can get stupid with it. I would say, obviously, like, one of the big things to focus on. And it's a great one to focus on, like, a great problem to have if this is your demo. Polish, it needs a lot of help. Like, visual juice is there. It's extremely, like, satisfying and nice to look at. It is having, like, a little bit of performance issues on a really high-end PC. Uh, and I didn't even... Which I would not mention if I didn't only have three out of six of the modifiers on one turret... That could easily turn into an unplayable mess on pretty much any computer. So, like, that is a little bit... That's something that to definitely make sure gets hammered home before release. I'd say quality of life as far as toggling when the freaking path is out there. Are you kidding me? That needs to be so... Like, just leave it out there or have the toggle that you can do in combat in the building phase where you actually need it <laughs> you know like that that's crazy that that is a crazy little oversight i'm sure it'll be fixed up um then of course like the balance was kind of out of whack for the the roguelike mode but i'm sure that'll be fixed up um the timer is way too short at the start for the other mode i like how active it is but holy crap if you're gonna be making somebody delete their entire base and move it over and then there's a ticking down timer that's like you get a hundred bucks if you go right now and then ten then zero then whatever like that is bonkers for the fact that you have to make a whole new setup like on a couple of those maps that's wild but hey those things are all they're they're not i'm not gonna say they're minor because those are big things that need to be fixed but they are things that are very fixable from a demo state enough to make me feel like this game is going to be quite fun when it's out. If those areas all get hammered home a bit more, I think this will be a lot of fun. I really like it. Uh, but dang, dump, dang, dang, dang. Proof of concept, concept proven. 
but the demo is absolutely a demo for sure thank you for watching though check out the channel i cover roguelikes and more every single day if that is something you are into this is a channel that you should be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye